Hi guys, it's your boy Chris here from Heat the Board Gaming and there's no messing about today, we're straight into the episode. It is episode 144 of that Tasmania Berlin Football Manager 2019 save and obviously Tasmania Berlin were once regarded as Germany's worst ever club. Um, they still hold all the records for the low points total, low goal scoring, low everything basically in the Bundesliga. But they're not that anymore in the game. In the game, we are a solid Bundesliga side. And we have been on a rampage. We're ninth in the Bundesliga. We could be challenging for fourth place, to be honest. That's where my eyes are at the moment. But we're probably not good enough for that level. And we've got the Europa, uh, Europa League as well. We're into the first knockout stage. And we just look at the competitions, just to show you. We are ninth in the table. We're um, four point, six points behind Bayern Munich. Um, able to catch up. We, we had a horrendous start. We didn't win a game for about six, five games or something. So we were we were pretty poor. And we, we have. We've taken off. Once the team's gelled together, we signed a lot of new players. And we've got Anderlecht in the first knockout round. Which I don't know how to feel about that. Anderlecht are a good side. Good solid side with some good youth prospects. I've looked at them. I haven't scouted them properly. So I don't know what I'm going up against. But they are a, a good side. Which is, which is nice. It's going to be probably the biggest game in Tasmania Berlin's history. So that is a good thing. In terms of the schedule. You were last year for the Nantes game. Group F of the European Cup where we, yeah, we did fantastically well. We put, It was a fantastic game and it was one of the best performances. Probably one my favourite game from the save so far. All 153 episodes that have passed. This is up there. There's a, there's a few games that stick out in my memory but this this is definitely one of the, one of the best. We followed that up by a 2-0 win against Osberg and yeah, it was a fantastic performance. Simic and Perry scoring the goals and they never really challenged us to be honest and then we followed it up with the opposite performance it was a dull, terrible game but Kodar, who is labelled the next Peter Cech played spectacularly well in both games so he is getting the nod in the next game so he'll be playing against Stuttgart just Shrek looks a bit flappy and he never overly impresses me every time I see him. Even though the ratings are saying he's not been that bad. But he's not been that good either. And getting a goalkeeper that can get a good rating might be the difference between ninth place and fourth place. <coughs> Bompart, on the other hand, he has one of these comparisons as well. And if you just look, it's just a, a, somebody you might have heard of before. Michel Platini, now he was some player when he was a young man, he was France's greatest ever, probably regarded as France's greatest ever player, so we've got a player in our hands, either that he's been dubbed new Michel Platini as in FIFA president and he takes a odd bung or whatever, I don't know, hopefully it's not that Michel Platini, <laughs> but yeah, there's, a, there's another couple, I think Garby's got one and I, I do not know what the player is. <laughs> or who the player is, my knowledge of 70s German footballers are. Oh, where am I going? It's not great. I'm going into the match reports. I don't want a match report. <laughs> back, back. Ignore that last two minutes, right? The team selection, that's what I wanted. I forgot it was in that page. I'm going to go for Kodar and goals. Wood's going to play right back in the absence of any other fit person that can play right back. Um. But Jen is lacking fitness and Pinto is still out injured. But Perry and Boy are going to be the centre backs and Colombo is going to be on the left. Slotner, Murray and Garby are going to be the centre midfielders just because all our other midfielders are just completely dead. They're, str they're struggling for fitness. They're just needing a rest. And then Ferreira, Middendorp and then Simic's going to take his turn up top. And Mujic is going to be left behind. Colombo's going to be the captain. Because why wouldn't you? You know, anybody commits a murder, you'll solve it. Right, aggressive. No, I'm not going to be aggressive to start off. Go and give our fans a money's worth. 
Right, we're going to be George Michael. We're going to have faith. And I've probably used that joke about 35 million times a save. Yeah, and I never realised how much I said and yet as well. Uh, the last... Yeah, and it's, it's a natural choice to have him. Talk about 11 players, eh? I never said that. How many times I see and yeah, I made a 10 more teams to manage in 2020 video. And I said and yeah about 32 times. So I'm going to try and stop myself saying and yeah. So it might be a, a wee hobby to go back and watch old videos and see how much I say and yeah. But yeah, I've got some big plans for Football Manager 2020. So I started late on the Football Manager 19. I got a video out that day, I think. And I was just learning. I've been absolutely terrible, but I'm improving. I can talk to the camera now. I can describe what I'm doing. So I'm getting better. It's, it's, I'm editing as well. There's thoughts of a second, second channel coming along as well, which, is, which will be good. So Murray, Murray's in a hurry to get to the Simic, Middendorp, and oh, that is a lovely place shot by Forjan Middendorp. And he's no longer a wonder kid, he's now a, a senior player, but he's never really improved to that top level that he threatened to, and I don't know if that's just because he's been on loan with us for so long that he wasn't in Bayern Munich. Oh, it was, a, it was our own goal, technically, came off the defender anyway. So that was quite a nice, nice for it to happen to, to them and not us. We've got some, as I say, major plans. Football Manager 2020. Got two save ideas, which, which are coming along nicely. We're working on the intros and the and the plans. Want it to be a bit more professional than things are at the moment. Murray to Schlotner. Oh, he's close. He likes a shot from there, Schlotner. Yeah, I want things to be a bit more professional looking, a bit more... Just just have a better feel of the channel. Obviously, it's not a professional channel. It's just me having a bit of fun, but... You know, I want to get more people watching it. And Ferreira Roshi almost delivers. Just want to get more eyes on the on the save and have a bit more fun with comments because I love comments. So if you've got time, stick a comment down below because I love replying to comments. I love talking to people about football. Oh, just I'm just like a big football knowledge sponge. I just love listening to the history of football, the anything anybody's got to say. But you're capable of even better. Yeah, I just love love talking about it. Everybody, the great thing about football is everybody's got an opinion and, and none are always that wrong. So it's, it's great to have a wee debate and a wee chat. Oh, sliding. Like Ferreira, what a beautiful goal. Now, do we go defensive or do we keep things going? That is the that is the question. Garby delivers it in. Ferreira slides in and <laughs> big goals are normally offside. And Ferreira's not a player you... Think about sliding in. We do have Henrik Amel on the bench, so if we are comfortable with about three minutes to go, he will be coming on. Hop. Did I say if we're comfortable? Right, I think we. I think Amel's just lost his chance. We're going to go defensive. Which is a pity, but I want to hold on to this. So Ferreira, who's just scored that lovely goal, is coming off, even though he's motivated. But he's a winger. And what are we going to do with a winger in a defensive pairing? Right. So Crest coming on. And Middendorp's coming off, who's also scored a goal. Unlucky son. And Music is coming on. Music is coming on. And here he is. And we'll invite them on and see how we can do. They're playing three up front now, so they are going for it. So we'll match them with three to back. And 
I've still got a sub in, in spare. So we'll sub somebody on. They are going for it. It's looking at their tactical. I just Oh they they are mixing things up. Right. Four minutes. Right, let's make a sub now. That'll take a couple of minutes off. So Simic is coming off for Henrik Amel. He's gonna play out a position. How much a kick in the teeth is that for Vladimir? <laughs> Over the top, boy away. Blow the whistle, ref. Whistle. Whistle. Come on. Boy away, Schlotner, and that's it. Oh. Brilliant. That is a big win. Um, well done, lads. That was a good win. It was a good win. But Stuttgart are their... Um, we're their bogey team. We beat them every single time. We've got the hoodoo over them. So that is brilliant. We've entered the Euro Cup race, which we were in last season as well. And Italy boss is looking at Filippo Repere. Now that's a that's a big one. The young Man United mid defensive midfielder on loan to us. He's pretty good. I'd love to yeah, I'd love to think about keeping him, but as I say, we're only here for the end of the season, so I don't think there's any point. <laughs> As I say, this is why I'm trying to rush through this this season, trying to put a video out every single day, so that if we do qualify for the Champions League or something crazy like that, then we can do another season, do season 14, which would be quite nice. In terms of um, when we'll be back, competitions, schedule even. Let's have a look. We've got a difficult one against... Um, Borussia Dortmund and Bayern Munich to start off with and they're both away that could be an interesting start what we'll do is we'll do the January transfer market in the in the winter break we'll see how we do and then I'll come back for a, a couple of games but the start, of the, the start of the season was really really difficult and we're into the difficult stage so this might actually run into our favour because we're going to get a lot of the difficult games out of the way which would be quite nice and yeah, let's see how we go. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a comment, leave a like, subscribe because I need some subscribers because otherwise it's just me sitting here alone on my computer. All right, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.